so hello everyone watching welcome back to my channel so in today's video it's going to be a styling tip video today's video i'm going to be sharing with you guys seven i think i have six six to seven tips on how to make your outfits look more put together look more stylish look more expensive luxury if you will these are tips that you might have already heard online or you might have not but you're gonna hear them from me anyways so if you guys want to see these tips then just go ahead and keep watching all right so tip number one and this is just the overall tip to make your fit look more nice and it is to wear items that fit you what i mean by that is just wearing items that actually fit you so and this could be relative to however your style is because i know a lot of people like to wear more baggier things or a lot of people like to wear their items more tight but however your style is wear the item that fits you so if you want to wear something that's baggy you rude <laughs> so if you want to wear an item that's more baggy you don't want to wear something that's super 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 baggy or if the item is supposed to be baggy you don't want to wear it tight so it's not going to look right if you get what i'm saying so if the item is supposed to be baggy wear it baggy but not too baggy if the item is supposed to be tight wear it tight but not too tight to the point where you're pudging out of it and things of that nature and just also just wearing items that fit you find those jeans that fit you perfectly find those shirts and bodysuits and jackets that fit you perfectly don't be wearing items that's like too long in the arms or too short in the legs like you really gotta be specific when you're buying items so that they can fit you well enough because when items fit you well enough they just look like they're tailored and made for you so i guess another tip could be to if items don't fit you well enough but you can still kind of finesse them then go ahead and get them tailored like a lot of people they have you know more curvier bodies and you know bigger butts so they get their waist tailored all the time which i think is a really good tip so the next tip some people may not agree with this but i definitely feel like wearing more neutral colors makes you look a lot more put together and more on the luxury side a lot of the times when you see luxury items they're not really in super bright colors unless it's like a special edition or just something like cute that they want this to drop but most of the time they come out with colors that are pretty much neutral toned um more cool toned just not super bright neon colors um, they don't really mix colors together like that and I feel like that is definitely um, the aesthetic that designer luxury brands have overall um, put together to make their brands stand out a little bit more than just regular brands. Um, so I would definitely say if you want to step up your style and make your style look a little bit more luxury then go ahead and try to narrow your style down to a couple of colors that are more neutral and then you can also mix colors that are more neutral with um, a little bit of brighter colors but for the most part try to narrow your style and your wardrobe down to neutral colors so i'm talking whites blacks nudes olive green is becoming a neutral color i feel like nude is becoming a neutral color brown is becoming a neutral color so like colors like that are pretty much like the colors that are simple and you can dress them up and build on them so i feel like that's why a lot of people wear neutral colors when they want to dress more in luxury black specifically an all black outfit will make you look so so luxury i would definitely insert a picture here where i wear all black outfit and i don't know to me you can't really tell where my items are from but if you can then a whatever but to me an all black outfit just makes you look a lot more put together a lot more slim you just have to make sure that the items are within the same fabric family and then they also are the same shade of black because sometimes black can be like a more ashier black ashier gray black or like just you know a whole bunch of different mixtures but when the blacks are on on point the outfit just comes together so much better and you just look so put together so luxury just so <laughs> the next tip that i have for you guys is accessorizing 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 accessories are a big part of outfits period i feel like just more so on the put being more put together side like for example i'm wearing literally i'm wearing joggers and a bodysuit 
and a hat and a jacket but as you can see i've literally accessorized my outfit um i'm missing the earrings so don't don't worry about that but i've accessorized my outfit like i am going to wear these gym shoes with these you guys have seen these on my channel many times um but accessorizing your outfit really brings your outfit and puts it together i feel like when you walk out of the door with accessories on you just look like you tried a little bit harder rather than just putting on a sweatshirt and some pants and just running out the door like when you go ahead and maybe do your hair put on some well, that's another thing. when you go ahead and accessorize put on a nice bracelet a nice watch a nice necklace some earrings even earrings you girls know you can't leave the house without your earrings i know a lot of girls there are like oh my god i cannot leave the house without my earrings and my lip gloss like those those are accessories those are accessories so if you want to step it up a notch try to get a nice bracelet maybe even a watch that you can wear every day that you wouldn't mind you know everyday use of even a nice necklace a nice name necklace i wear my name necklace pretty much every day and i feel like it adds a nice touch to each outfit that i put on because i just look a little bit more put together um even if you don't do your hair like i'm wearing a hat right now but it just looks a whole lot better and even if i would like to put on a nice purse like that upgrades the outfit even more all right so the next tip that i have for you guys is shiny items so what I mean by this is, um, for example, I know a lot of trendy websites like Pretty Little Thing, Boohoo, um, Shein even, um, a lot of those sites have been coming out with like leather pants and like, for example, leather pants, you have to be careful with leather items. You don't want to get something that's like super, super shiny and just like almost look like plastic latex because it just gives off a very, very cheap look. And also like glitter sequins, you want to make sure that the sequins and the glitter just shines and glistens at the right way. Like if that makes sense, like it's not just super like cheesy and I don't, I don't know how to explain it. Like maybe I'll upload pictures of like what not to do and what to do um, because I don't really know how to explain it as far as glitter goes. As far as leather items go, um, if you notice again with luxury brands, their leather is not super shiny unless they want it to be shiny on purpose. Like there are some purses that I noticed are super shiny, but it's like purposefully shiny. Um, but most of the time they want their leather to be like a nice coat of color, but it's not like super, super shiny. So when you buy items, just make sure that the leather is like a nice coat. It's not super shiny. Like for example, I have some pants that I got from Shein and they look a lot more luxury than you think because of the fact that it's not super shiny. I hope that makes sense for you guys. All right, so the next tip that I have for you guys is to do your hair. And I actually am not following this tip today because I decided to put on a hat, but doing your hair just makes you look a lot more put together than you would think. Like for example, like I said before, throwing on a sweatsuit and then just going out of the door with bed hair is gonna make you look a lot more like you just rolled out of bed rather than maybe throwing your hair up in a bun and doing your edges or, you know, putting the little curls out, you know, something of that nature. Doing your hair and uh, just putting your hair up and just, you know, taming it, taming the hair. Taming the hair just makes you look a lot more put together. And then also a mini tip is just like wearing your hair in styles that flatters the outfit. So some outfits, you don't want to wear your hair down because you want to show the dress or maybe you want to show your shoulders or maybe you even have some like long earrings. Like that's pretty much a fashion rule to not wear long earrings with your hair down because you can't see the earrings. So it's like when you wear certain outfits, just make sure you plan around like how you want your hair to look or how your hair is looking at the moment. Like if I had a bun in, which I can't wear a bun or my hair down because my hair is cut. But if I had a bun in, I wouldn't be wearing like really cute outfits that would require me to wear my hair down because it would just look a lot more better. A lot, what am I trying to say? A lot better. All right, sorry you guys, somebody that came in, so I got interrupted. But yeah, like I was saying, overall, just wear your hair with outfits that flatters what hairstyle that you have in at the moment. All right, so the next tip that I have for you guys is to wear makeup. Wear makeup. 
like if as you can tell right now i'm not wearing a whole bunch of makeup but i just have on light foundation concealer bronzer um what else blush and a little bit of mascara like pretty easy pretty simple but when i wear makeup i feel like it makes your outfit look a lot more put together or even if you don't like makeup you can wear brows and lashes or even lashes if you will when you wear something like really put putting an outfit together overall it's just about adding little nice touches to it that's really what it's all about adding nice touches to it is just going to make your outfit look a whole lot better than if you are to just throw something on and just run out the door so i would definitely recommend that you wear makeup and then also just wearing makeup that flatters you know your outfits don't you know be wearing some real bright makeup with an outfit that's not supposed to be right you know you get what i'm saying or don't be wearing colorful makeup when your makeup is not supposed to be colorful you get i mean where your outfit is not supposed to be colorful unless it's supposed to be an accessory to the outfit like let's say your makeup matches your shoes like different things like that of that nature i'm not saying that colorful makeup is not you know more put together and more luxury because it can be but it's just a matter of how and when to wear it all right so this is for my girls who love to wear sweats so, if you want to jump out of your comfort zone when wearing your sweats and you want to look a little bit more stylish and more put together, girl, pop on some heels. I don't know how many times that I've seen some outfits where it was sweats and then she had on a nice pair of heels and it just made the outfit look so much better. Like, it took it from a nice chill outfit to like, I'm going out to dinner. I'm going out to the club, but I'm still comfortable. Like, these are for my girls who love to be comfortable, but they want to be cute. They want to step out. Like, you can literally wear those sweats and put on some heels and wear that to the club. Wear that to dinner. Like, with some nice sweats. Like, it and these. These sweats, I could literally put these, some heels on with these instead of those in gym shoes. And, boom, I got a nice, cute, dressier outfit. Like, heels really dress up an outfit, if you ask me. Um, but, yeah. So overall, those are all my tips for you guys on how to look more put together, how to look more stylish, how to look more luxury, up echelon. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you are new to the channel. My name is Lamaria Davis, if you did not know. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching.